Welcome everyone to another forewarn guide. This is a basic guide to Talgor the Perilous. Uh, basically, this will be a guide to kind of let you guys know um, how to maneuver, how to survive um, in situations when you do get the relic, um, and how can you um, be able to pretty much. Uh, from his strengths and weaknesses, how can you survive um, and find a blue lever and then get out with the treasure? So, um, like I said, this is uh, one of the new Magi's that recently came out. Um, I believe it was on Halloween. Um, my comparison to the Magi's, I think this one is it is kind of scary at first uh, because one, you can't see him. So it's one of those that um, it's all about listening and taking, you know, every step pretty much, um, you know, to be more cautious, more aware on your surroundings. So let's go ahead and click on the board as always. And then we'll talk about more once we get the the relic. So, like I said, Talgor the Perilous, um, I would say, is a really good challenge. Um, if you kind of check out his research notes that's located on your top right screen, uh, basically, he is invisible. Um, you cannot see him with any other means except the tablet. Uh, when, usually, when the first time I'm kind of playing against him, um, Every time you assume the tablet is basically looking through um, night vision, um, which, which is pretty much not the case. Um, the only thing with night vision is basically you can actually gauge um, on how bad the night vision do get disturbed is pretty much how close he is. But, but I would say the best way to kind of gauge Talgor is to listen uh, for his distinctive sounds. He does make a gurgling type sound uh, when he does get close to you. Um, and it's that's why it's kind of good that you should kind of take your time when going through the actual tomb because um, his, his sounds is kind of like, I would say by a room or two rooms away from your location. So. Um, the best defense against him is to is to see him before he sees you. His his actual range is pretty decent. It's limit. I think it's really it's better than Ufris's because Ufris is like a uh, headlamp distance away. Um, you can check out my other basic guides on Ufris. So um, you can kind of see how far we were in comparison to Ufris. Um, so he, he can see you um, pretty well, um, not like two rooms away or maybe room, one room away. It, I think it's within the same room that you're in. Um, the, the tablet, basically, the best way to see him is on this view. This, this uh, first view, basically, um, is the best way to see him. Um, you will see a, a big mass of a shadow. Um, if you think of uh, Lord of the Rings, like uh, the Balrog, when he has that shadow cloak around him, uh, it's basically like that. He's basically like a um, smaller version of Deacon with red eyes, but he has this awesome looking shadow cloak that's, you know, constantly moving around him. Um, that's the best way to kind of describe him as you keep looking through this tablet to kind of see where he's at. Um, it is it is it is kind of a little bit nerve-wracking not not as bad as on the craft of shadow that you're only staring at this one little screen at least you have um 
the flashlight and your headlamp on so you don't really have to go all dark um, you can actually walk around or run around with your flashlight and headlamp on so that's actually a good thing um, absorb flames he I would say he does get attracted to that um, if he's like within your vicinity um, if you like if you need a picture or something um, just go ahead and light it up um, like on the walls and then you kind of would see him just kind of rush in and just kind of extinguish the flames and then you should be able to get a picture um, that's pretty much if you're playing an older style map uh, this one is kind of difficult in some ways so I would kind of advise using the um, the actual platforms to get back out to the entrance probably a good way to try and get a picture of him for the objective uh, slowed by speech um, not really need as, as far as escaping and looking for the blue lever um, you don't really need to kind of worry about that um, listen closely yeah so basically like I said you'll hear this gurgling sound getting louder and louder uh, which actually adds the creepiness to it so pretty much that's it guys um always watch your surroundings always always see him before he sees you because that is the key um there is no other way to discourage him away from you um i think he i would assume like he's just like a rathos with a line of sight if you can outrun him um i think you should be able to break off um, he doesn't have like Ufris's uh, tracking abilities that he'll be with you the whole time. So um, I, I pretty much I didn't have any trouble when um, outrunning him before. So I think you should be okay. Um, so like I said, it, it does get kind of hard to gauge but like I said if you can see him before he sees you that'll be your best way to so any areas with a dead end like try your best to get out or move away as fast as you can because um, those are basically dead traps for you um, always try to have your flashlight out while looking at your tablet because there are times when there's different views that oh look at this there's like different views that um that your flashlight might be kind of acting up a little bit in some ways so, so try your best to try and get your flashlight out because it's just a constant um keeping look and all that just to let's drop off my treasure real fast and then we'll kind of go around and if we can get a picture of him real fast. I'm just gonna drop it here. Alright, so our camera. Hopefully by now you guys should be used to looking at the tablet because of the shadow. But I know it is kind of a pain in the butt because you're this one you're you're constantly looking at the screen and the um main view as well. Heard him but I wasn't too sure which side you're coming from. He, his speed is actually pretty decently fast um he's not like sprinting at you i think he's like in between when you know when rathos kind of when he spots you he he would actually move in that kind of speed um while chasing and maybe a little bit faster maybe but he's not like deacon speed or you know stuff like that so um This is actually a bad location because there's a lot of dead ends around here. 
I just wanted to kind of show you guys on the tablet on how he moves around. There's no main junction in this stage, which kind of sucks. Because that one way, that one is actually a best way to see him. Ouch. Punk. It's the best way to see him because you can actually. I hear him, but I just don't see him. I don't know if he's stuck or. That's a dead end. Maybe this spot is actually not bad. There's only two ways you can get in here. It's either my right where the scaffold is or the obelisk. Hmm. Where are you? There he is. Well, as you can see, like we he saw us, but he um. <laughs> He's, he's all line of sight, so as long as you can kind of break his, he's stuck. Yeah, so there he is. So that's... That is... Oh shit, that's a... Yeah, so he does get stuck, but that's uh, Mr. Talgos right here. It's not so. Uh... Ooh, he moved away. <laughs> I'm gonna stand right here. He's not chasing me. <laughs> so yeah, guys. So basically, um. That's pretty much it with Talgos. Oh, sorry, not Talgos. Talgor, the Perilous. Um, he is, like I said, uh, it, it took me a, like a lot of sessions to, like, a lot of testing, a lot of sessions to actually um, kind of get a good observation on how he moves, how he uh, reacts to certain things, you know. So, um, just like all my other basic guides on the Magi's, um, it would probably change depending on the updates that the devs will do so you know of course we'll do a, a 2.0 version um as the updates keeps keeps coming in um but like i said guys it's not so bad um but he is kind of scary in a way that um he, that he's he actually can sneak up on you and it's all about listening and hearing where his location is um and pretty much his actual pathway um so like i said the good thing is you can use your flashlight you can use your headlamp um use your tablet um just the, is the only way to see him so always make sure you keep looking at both i would say look at tablet more than looking up so um always listening um on his sounds that gurgling uh type sound that he makes when he gets uh closer to you you can actually use that in your advantage as well like just like what you saw me do um just to get a picture of him um to basically get as close as you can and break break contact um so just basically break his line of sight that'll be the best way for you to uh, escape um using your actual terrain so um, any anything that could actually loop around inside the tomb use that um to break his line of sight um but like i said the best the best way to 
um, escape slash find the blue lever and then um, exit out is to spot him before he spots you that is the main key that i can tell you from my experience um just, just by testing with him this is just see him before he sees you and you should be fine um so yeah guys um so i will be leaving um a link to the actual forward playlist that we have in as well as our channel um i hope that this guy will kind of help you in some ways um to kind of uh, when you do face Telg or the Parallels um, in your future games, you know, hopefully um, just remember certain steps that I actually kind of told you guys. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully it works out for you guys. Um, like I said, there's other guys on all the Majais that we posted um, earlier um, in when the game first came out. So like I said, um, I'll let you guys know if there is going to be updates to those guides once we get more updates on the Majais. But yeah, feel free to check out the guides we do have. So we do have like um, a solo guide, Magi guides, um, and the, the new map uh, navigating um, basic guide as well. So if you have, have issues on navigating through the new map, uh, let's go ahead and check that out. All right, guys. So anyways, um, hopefully you guys are all having an awesome day. Uh, take care of yourself as well. Um, and, you know, again, thank you guys for tuning in for this uh, other basic guide. And as always, you know, Hopefully I get to see you guys in the next video. Alright guys, have a good one. Alohas.